here we are again. You know what? Uh, you know, you know what I realized we're wearing the same shirts as we were before. People are gonna be real confused as to how we just like got another person. What? How did she get here? Look, it's Sarah from Sunland. Hold it up. <laughs> so, uh, we got a, a Sarah. She's in one of the local groups. Yeah. Sunland here. What kind of, what, describe your music. Uh, skate punk. Skate I punk. Guess. And you're the guitarist and singer, right? Yeah. So she actually knows stuff about music. And, uh, <laughs> she actually plays a real instrument. Hey. Sings in. You sing and play guitar. Yeah. So yeah, Cass I, plays guitar too. Oh yeah. I, I played the look, what, what is it called? The little album. thing you put in your teeth and you go boing 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 boing. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so uh, we decided to put a, a feminine touch on the handsome hooligans. Yep. Mark, you got to get in the frame more. Oh. Dang it. I don't want to crowd. Oh, here. I'll do this. As we're... <laughs> yeah. like, what the oh. heck are you guys doing? Oh, there we go. As you can see, okay. this Charming Smith's Castle was made for four hosts, actually. <laughs> yeah. We just fit in perfectly. So, uh... uh okay, so we're going to test you on your Smith's credibility. Okay. What album are we talking about? <laughs> Yeah, that's the one. The Queen is Dead. <laughs> so, do you know what's your favorite song on The Queen is Dead? You know, I don't even know what's on. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, shoot, you passed the test. <laughs> Welcome to this no, 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 no. guest. She ha she has an awesome story. Okay, yeah, hold on. Hold Let's on. Hear it. We'll get Let's into hear it. that later. Okay. All right. So, go, go ahead. Out of these ones, though, I know it's over. It's really good. That's there good. you go. That's yeah. what I. Thank you. You just you just validated you me. Just saved our, you just I saved our because I said I was I was I was saying that's the real hit on this song, on this er, on song. this album. That's the real. <laughs> it's just one long song. On this album because it's, uh, yeah. Okay. So anyway, so, good job. She does you. pass the test. All right, Sarah. <laughs> name one person in this room. What? That's it. Yeah. Just one leg. <laughs> Yeah. Smith's knowledge. All right. Oh, yeah, I'm Mark, by the way. I don't even think I introduced yeah. myself. Yeah, you did. Oh. <laughs> she just appeared in the middle of the Smith's cast. Oh, hey. I'm Mark. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. So, Kaz was telling me uh, about your album collection, and this is what everybody needs to hear. Oh, yeah. Let's hear about this. I have, I like, a ton of records, mostly because of my parents and everything. But I was just looking through it one day after realizing that Kaz is in love with the Smiths. And I saw I've had a Smiths album for like all of my life, probably. Really? <laughs> I didn't even know yeah. that. What so, album? Uh, what color is it? Stranger. Stranger. Is it yellow? Stranger. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Uh, and, oh, does it look like this one? Oh, yeah, Kaz has already seen it. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. No, it is. Yeah. And, and then when Kaz asked asked Sarah what her favorite Smith's album was, <laughs> I don't want to talk about. That. <laughs> All right, Sarah. Do you know what the name of this album is? Yeah, it's Half Full Hollow. All right. She okay. just pointed at the yeah, she just a copy point. of Half Full Hollow. And went, She's like this, guy. this one. That's that's that's. Hey, that that, that's point. okay. Sarah, hey, it sounds like she had good taste in music. So. Yeah, it, it sounds like you were just like Mark, because, and we've told this story before, but Mark used to pick his his albums when he get when we'd go to Stinkweeds. Whatever. He used to pick them up and he used to chew on them. And if they that was, I did good, that one time. If they tasted good, he would buy the album. But it was. And I'm not kidding. That's what he would do. <laughs> yeah, that, that's. I've taken you to like. <laughs> they say before. this you person has good taste. <laughs> that, that's uh, actually what Jimi Hendrix used to do with his guitars. He checked to make sure if it was a good guitar. You know, the lick. <laughs> that's why they call it a lick on the guitar. Yeah, yeah. I like it. All right. Uh, <laughs> so uh, let's get into that. Speaking album. of licks, let's talk about. Uh, let's talk about no some cool ever. stuff. Oh yeah. So anyway, you get the list right here. So. Okay. So we're gonna try to cover. Let me get down to it. We are going to try to cover Never Had No One Ever, Symmetry Gates, and Big Mouth. Yeah. All right. Just like, yep. So should okay. we start with Never? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> I love the lyrics. It's like, like five lines. Okay. All right. So <laughs> I didn't realize how sh how short the lyrics were it's until I looked at song. it. Yeah, and so. <laughs> I mean, Ozzy, yeah, he just goes into, at the end, never. Yeah, you know, he just like, repeats it over and over. Yeah, but then he's like, now I'm outside your house. He does kind of change it, right? A little. Do they have that in there? No. It, no, they don't. Oh. That's well, interesting. Maybe they're okay. not official lyrics. So, okay, here's the thing about this song that he mentions. Oh, is, is that in the, it it lasts, in the Smith book, though? It lasts... Uh, Oh, it lasted twenty years, seven months, and twenty-seven days. Yeah, what happened? I looked. That was that was January eighteenth, nineteen eighty, for Morrissey. The he's born May twenty-second, nineteen fifty-nine. So I was trying to figure out what happened on that day. I think. Not, I don't know if anything did, but I thought I was hoping maybe you guys. Yeah, no, it's just the same lyrics as in here, and then Italian. So let's hear an Italian. Come on, Cass. Oh man, give your Italian. Giorno. Uh, it lasted die, here. venti, venti. The heck? Años. This is way out of order. All right. Uh, venti anos. Uh, DiGiorno, paparazzi. Uh, <laughs> paparazzi. DiGiorno. Pepperoni, <laughs> mozzarella. DiGiorno. Oh, it sounds yeah. so much better than the original Italian, doesn't it? <laughs> it's not delivery. It's <laughs> the show. No. Sarah's like, I'm, I'm done. I'm out of here. <laughs> Smiths are down. Okay. Dead. So anyway, so Sarah I was, I, I was, I was trying to research though to see if it, there was some kind of event that happened uh -huh. January 18th, 1980, but there's not. I think this would be a really strange date to remember, but like. I think Morrissey met Johnny Marr before they like properly met in 1980. Yeah, that's what. In 1980, I then that so. that would make. Oh my god! Wait, but that doesn't make sense. It lasted 20 years. Yeah. Yeah. Seven months and 27 days. So I'm saying so. Morrissey's born May. <laughs> this this is just a theory that maybe there's something to it, maybe there's not. But I, I did the math and I was like, from May 22nd, 1959, when he was born, yeah. 20 years, 7 months, and 27 days ends up being the day he, January 18th, 1980. And I don't know what happened on that day. Yeah, I, I have no clue. <laughs> January 18th, 1980. Anyway, so if anybody... if 9-11 happens. <laughs> January. <laughs> that's what they call it. That's what they call it 9-11. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, so this song, Wait. this is one of those ones that's kind of like, this is the, my skip song. No, what? No. No. No, 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 no. no. Listen. This is, this Listen. Skip. Listen to the music. Okay. No, I, I like the, no, I like it. It's I'm just right. saying, but if there's a, I don't know, I, it's, it's a good song. But, the, no, it's not skippable. <laughs> then okay, it's, it's not skippable. Uh, Sarah, what do you think of this? I've never heard that one. Okay, well, oh, it sounds, it sounds alright. I can get into that. I like yeah. at the end with I the, oh, see, she can well, get into well, it. It's that not weird skippable to her. Okay. No, the, okay, the whole album's not... This isn't like... We're, oh, now, we, you mean, now you're going to skip the whole album. No, I'm saying this isn't like Meet His Murder where you just oh, skip okay. Meet His Murder at the yeah. end, you yeah. know? <laughs> they're, not, they're not skippable. I'm just saying there's some songs that are, are awesome. There's some songs that are good. And this is a good song. Yeah. I'm not... Yeah, quite that. <laughs> what do you do? He's, he's playing... <laughs> Grams with different albums and, and uh, oh sucks. wow, that, how's that guy doing that? He has a, he has a second he has thing. Knees. Wow, man. Here. I hope I'm lining that up right. 
<laughs> He's trying to put two pictures together to make one. <laughs> the guy's got two sets of knees. All right. He's making a mutant. That's what he's doing. All right. Okay. But anyway, so no, the, this song's this song's good, and it's like all the depressing and stuff. And it's like, okay, you never had no one. Like, what are you talking about? Your mom is nice to you. You know, him and his mom <laughs> have a really mom good is relationship. Nice to you. Well, no, but it's like. He wasn't like he didn't grow up like an orphan or something. He's not like he has a sister. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like wow, you're really uh, shallow. Yeah, the friends of Morrissey podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe he's talking about a relationship. I don't. He must be because he's outside somebody's house, kind of stalking him. <laughs> Ooh. You know what? You, you know what that it? reminds me of is is uh, uh, that one eighties movie. Um, you know the guy where we get the radio, the boom box outside our house. <laughs> Say anything. Say anything. Yes. Oh my it. What song is he playing? I, I can't remember. Okay. Anyway, isn't Guys, it? Do you have anything to say on this song? I don't really have anything to say on this song. Okay, I mean, that's what I'm it, saying. It, it, it's kind it's of skippable. mean, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. No, it's just not the best song on on the album. That's all. But it's not meat is murder skippable. You're not okay. actually going to skip it. Now we're, now we're going to get to the best song, though. Mm -hmm. I'm not so sure. Okay, Cemetery Gates. Cemetery Gates, not what? Cemetery. Okay. okay. We'll, we'll explain. We'll explain. Okay, good. good okay, good. Kaz will explain this after we listen to it. Are we all ready? Yeah. Okay, let's do we it. We want her impression first, though. Yes. Okay, Sarah. So okay. this is... This we don't want you to just be silent. <laughs> <laughs> The song is only two minutes forty seconds. <laughs> well, I know, but we don't want I, Warner. I, well, no, Warner said that coming after us. I well, know. Warner said that we can use it, but they have the right to place ads on our podcast, which is completely fine. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> they really want to reach out to those yeah. <laughs> those ten, twenty people that yeah. actually watch our. Yeah. They're, they're trying to wrangle in the Belgians. What did you do? Almost spilled my drink. What? Ooh. Okay. So, okay. impression. So, what's your impression? It's really happy. But yeah. I don't know. I'm not really into that. <laughs> well, <laughs> like shall we go back to never have no one ever? <laughs> I, I like that one better, but Cemetery Gates is it's fine. Okay. We'll see the. Okay. Okay. Well, that's. Yeah, it, the music's all like. Yeah. But it's all about going into a graveyard. Yeah, on, and like on this, at, the, the music, the, the 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 strong beats on this one are all on the upswing, not the downswing. Yeah. So and that and that's different for the Smiths because most of their music, the 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 actual count is always on the downbeat, not the upbeat. Well, yeah, and it's got that little, I don't know if it's a mandolin playing, and then there's an accordion that comes in. Accordion. On it. Yeah. Where? Accordion. That's right. I don't remember where Aren't where was it. Accordion. It's uh, it's, right there, it's uh, oh yeah. Maybe he'll uh, treat us later. <laughs> um, here, play, play, uh, right there, yeah. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's kind of towards the more mayo. Middle. No, no, just skip a little. Dang it, skip a little more. Dang it, I should have. Okay, listen, listen, listen. Dang it, maybe it's... That's me. Hear that? That's an accordion. That. Are you sure that's not just like harmonics? Yeah, it's, it says right here. But... <laughs> it says right here, accordion by Mark. <laughs> No, it specifically says no accordions on this album. There are no no accordions were used on the making of this album. No accordions were used on Son this album. Son of a gun, gun. why? <laughs> string arrangement, orchestration. Son of a gun. It could be the strings, though. I mean... Yeah, it doesn't look like you've got any accordion here, Mark. It could be an accordion. Why? I'm such a fool. 
It's probably in the orchestration. Yeah. It, it but could that, be that. I hated Salford Ensemble. Yeah. Sounds like an accordion to me. Okay, well, that that's fine. So, <laughs> that's fine. Kaz, forget you, symmetry. Um, the reason yeah. it's called Symmetry Gates is because Morrissey wanted to be a little punk and purposefully misspelled it. And he made a, like, he made uh, a deal about it being purposefully misspelled to Johnny Marr and to Jeff Travis. Yeah. Why? Just, why not? It, it's a, Well, it's also something else, too. And I actually read this in another... Does interview. he say, in the song, does he say cemetery gates? He says cemetery gates. So yeah. Not cemetery. Now, huh. the, now, remember, the song is about um, plagiarism, right? Mm -hmm. So... It, it's so basically cemetery gates is both intentionally misspelled because why not and then the other thing is is it's a play on on the spelling of the word and and the actual word cemetery so he's trying to to make a a, a point of you say one thing but the great authors of yesteryear were much better than you, and all you're doing is lifting stuff off. You're you're not symmetrical to them. You're you're just ripping them off. Oh. Don't we talk like every prod podcast about how Morrissey took this line from this and how he took yes. that from that? <laughs> well, yeah, and th yeah, there's always someone with a big nose who knows. And it's always Morrissey. That's how I found him out. Yeah, no, no, no. That, That's how I found out about. Yeah, when we were kids, knows. Mark said that this, this nose knows. Yeah, Mark said that this song was about him because. <laughs> There's always someone somewhere with a big nose. You know? So he's like, that's me, that's me. <laughs> Look at the size of this thing. I must know a lot. <laughs> but we'll see. Um, I, I like the line in this song where uh, he's, uh, we go inside and we gravely read the stones. Like, yeah. we gravely read the stones. Grave. They're we grave we stones. Gravely read we gravely stones. read the stones. Anyway, that's really clever. Did you ever one. do that when you were a kid? Gravely read the stones? No, no, go into a cemetery at night and just start reading all the headstones. At night? I've gone to, yeah. into a cemetery. Are you crazy? Going at night? That's, yeah, where that, all the, that's where all the bodies come out of. There's ghosts. That's, yeah, that, that's, when, <laughs> no, uh, that's when the robbers come and accidentally put your dog in the, in the tomb. Your dog in the tomb? What about that one where the kid stabs the knife? Oh, they dare him to do it, and then, and then he feels something pulling on him, and he goes. <laughs> No, no, no. So, when I was a kid and we lived in Nebraska, the and, and back east you see a lot more of them, but uh, uh, you see a lot more of really old gravestones, which are really cool, like people who, who like died and were buried in like 1800, 1805, yeah. 1810. Um, and, he, and as you go further back, you can see them all the way back to 17 and, and 16 and, and oh, some yeah. areas. So, in Nebraska where I lived, my, my grandfather actually lived in one of the hit i think it was like his part-time job or whatever he was just like the overseer of like a veterans uh graveyard a small veterans graveyard in in the town that we lived in so whenever we'd stay at his house at night we'd always go out at night and read all the because right outside his front door was the the graveyard so we would just go outside and read it and then we would go to the graveyard that was on the other side of of the town and we would go through and read all those Hmm. It did get kind of freaky at times. I will not lie to you on that. Well, yeah, go in there at night. Especially well, there's a fresh Have you seen that video with, uh, with, with one of Morty's friends where she's talking about them going into the graveyards whenever they're young and stuff? No? Yeah. The lady? No. Oh. Okay. It's not that good anyway. But, um... Oh, wait, yeah. yeah. You know what I like? I like... I like about this song, another thing is, because uh, yeah, whenever you see a grave or somebody's dead, you're, it really makes you contemplate life, you know, like all these people that are here now in the ground, they have lives, you know, and then they, you know, what do they do with them and what am I doing with my life? I, I like the, the thought in this song. This is probably one of my, this is one of my favorites on this album. Kaz. Yeah. Uh, this one is. Not I, I really love the accordion in this one. <laughs> That's why it's Mark's. That station. doesn't exist. <laughs> Dang it! Uh, I, I don't know. It, it's just it doesn't really tickle me and never really has. Oh. Um, so I what, think it's. Are you a Keats? He must be a Keats and Yates yes. guy. No, I, I just feel like he's not representing Wilds. 
uh, well enough. What about Byron? Yeah, Byron's also. Well, good. Byron is on my. Actually, actually, you know, you know who really likes Byron. Because Morrissey really likes Wild. Do you know who really likes Byron? Brian Anderson? No. Yes. Johnny Well, Martin. he might. I don't know. No. Robert Smith. Oh, yeah. He does. He's a okay. huge Byron <laughs> fan. Well, the reason I say that is because Morrissey made a huge point. Him and, him and Robert Smith, for some reason, had this big feud in the 80s and the 90s. And I don't know what it was about. But, it was uh, about who was more depressing because <laughs> neither of them wanted the title. I don't know, but... <laughs> But like Morrissey would just refuse to do anything with with the Cure or have anything to do with Robert Smith, and Robert Smith was the same with with Morrissey. In fact, one time he even said, uh, "If Morrissey says don't eat meat, that I'm eating as much meat as possible." And he did. Look at him. He choked, <laughs> yeah. he choked out. <laughs> but, but they call him Fat Bob over and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they do. Yeah. Because he's always had a kind of a weight problem. Yeah. Like well, the the funny thing about the, okay, Robert so not Smith. that this is a not that this is a cure cast, but the funny thing about Robert Smith is he he gave an interview and said I have to grow my hair out and make it all, uh, you know, poofy and, and wavy because if he doesn't do that, he gets a proper haircut. He actually looks like a hooligan, like somebody who's going to rough you up. Oh, you <laughs> so, know what? I saw this. There's a video um, just recently of of them playing. Um, one Orange? of their old songs. Cemetery Gates. No. No, it Orange? was actually The Cure. Um, was it in Orange? The Forest. Or oh, the Forest. Yeah. The, the, the 15-minute version? I I don't know, but it's really good. Yeah. And it doesn't even look like Robert Smith because his hair is short. And yeah, because... So yeah. I don't even recognize him. It's yeah. the first television... Anyway, we're getting off. Do you like The Cure? Yeah. <laughs> Probably See. I know more of that than I do this. Welcome to the oh, Cure Cast. Yeah. All right, so here on the Cure Cast we have Sarah. Uh, Sarah Rose. from Sunland. <laughs> so okay, so uh, getting back to this, so the other thing, so like if we talk about symmetry, right, like being symmetrical. Yeah. In Morrissey's own career, he just came out with a a song recent, not like recently, 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 but more more recent. And it was, because uh, in this song he's talking about authors. And in this other song, which is on this same album that uh, oh, that, yeah, that yeah. one's from, um, he talks about directors. Directors? Yeah. This is it, not It's, so, it's not the one you have killed me. Yeah, um, uh, Ringleader of the Tormentors. Yeah. Oh, Ringleader of the Tormentors. So he, he wrote a whole song about oh, directors. And it was pretty much the same thing, because like here he's saying, you're not a really good writer. You know, sure, you may you may have Keats and Yeats on your side, but Wilde is on mine. And in this song, he's like, you're never going to be this great director or this great director or this great director. You think you're good, but you're really not. You're not going to be this director, this director, this director, because that's me. He hasn't even made any movies. No, but he did make a good book, didn't he? <laughs> Yeah. Show the book again, just in case somebody wants it. Hey, Sarah, do you want Morrissey's book? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that was all. Believe me, you're better off. Yeah. It's it's really like inner. We're, we're trying. We're trying to get someone who comments to take the book. Yeah. Every, everyone is just uh, like, don't give me the book. Yeah. The guy specifically said, do not <laughs> yeah, give me the book. Do in not send me this. <laughs> so anyway, okay. So th I I like this song. I like the. The that the, it's it's a happy music, but kind of a deep subject, you know. Yeah. And uh, you know, there's some weird the long love the, those quotes are weird. Who's the dizzy whore from 1804? No, just some dizzy whore from 1804. Yeah. In other words, he can't even write his own bad, uh, uh, his own bad literature. Maybe it's that lady. Himself. Come up and. Uh, Shimmy sometime. <laughs> Maybe it's the same one. <laughs> May West. <laughs> Maybe it's the same one that he lifted List of the Lost from. <laughs> List of the Lost, oh my gosh. Okay, so okay, so let's move on. Um, uh, Kaz? To Big... Yeah, let's move on to Big Mouth. All right. We are cruising through right now. No, 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 I was going to grab another 7-inch uh, for this, for this song. And I'll tell you more about that after we play it. Okay, let's play it. I do like this guitar. Yeah. 
skip. Yeah. That, yeah, I love that. Love it. And then the... Isn't that... That's... Okay. That's the Mike Joyce the backing vocals. Yeah. He's got, he's got, he can't... So the other the, before we talk about this, I want to play this one because live on, on the Rank album, and I know we'll cover Rank later, but here we will. Yeah, it's one of the albums. We'll cover it, I guess. But I just love it live. Is it an album? Half full of hollows on an album. See, we did cover that one though. Yeah, but half full of hollow doesn't exist. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, listen to that. Okay. And right at the very end. It's all that drive. Yeah. Man, well, no, cool. that guitar, that, that, that guitar line is a very, yeah, driving, like, awesome. Well, even right there, the drums. Mike Joyce is just abusing those drums right there. And the symbols. This is, he's up in his little. He's like, I want my twenty-five percent. Dang it! <laughs> no, I heard he had he had this huge drum set, and he's like, with all no. these symbols. <laughs> what actually? And they actually, put him in a, in a thing, and he, he twirls yeah. around. <laughs> no, what actually happened was it's like that scene in a uh, Spinal Tap where the eggshell thing. He's banging on it, trying to get trying out. to get out. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so yeah, they, I think. On this, on the, the B side, the, Johnny Marr kind of shows up with his guitar, like, yeah, more. He, yeah. For, for whatever reason. I mean, I'm not saying, so, this song's awesome. Yeah. Uh, Sarah. Sarah. From Sunland. Okay, I can get down to it. <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's so, funny. So, what else about it? <laughs> I mean, she only says like five words and we're letting her get away with that. What <laughs> so, else about it? Come on, let's go. All right, Sarah, who sings on this song? Uh, no. Yeah, I don't know. It's, I know it's one of the more popular ones. Not mm -hmm. like the great popular one, but it's still like pretty good. Like, I could get into it. On a scale of like one to ten? Like an eight. Like an eight. All right, yeah. nice. solid. Solid, solid eight. eight, yeah. Uh, it's just, it is funny, I like the, just the Big Mouth Strikes again, you know, just, that he even came up with that line, it's just... Yeah. It's, it's clever. Classic. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> um, so, I have a little story about this one. Okay, so, okay. Uh, the conception of this song came about because, uh, this miss had put out, like, four singles, uh, that didn't really get a lot of air, uh, radio play, and they were... And Morrissey was really angry about that, and so was Johnny Marr. And so Johnny Marr came up to Morrissey and said, Hey, listen, I've got this song, and uh, we're going to make it our Jumpin' Jack Flash, like the Rolling Stones. And it's going to be so, like, just raucous and radio-ready that they will have to play it. And yeah. it did all right. Um, <laughs> they didn't have to play it. They did not have to play it, no. <laughs> but it did... Uh, it did garner more radio airplay than uh, the other singles in the past. Uh, I have, uh, what's it called? Jumpin' Jack Flash by the Rolling Stones on 7-inch, and I was going to bring that, but I forgot. But you, okay, so you know what I like about this song? If there's any skippable song on any album, it's this one, not because it's a bad song, but because it's, it's a good song, but it's so much better live. This, there are certain songs that you play for albums and certain songs you play for concerts. This is one of those songs you put, you live to play for in a concert. Really? Yeah, I get yeah, that. Because, because like on the album, yeah, it's, it's good and it, it does everything, but in, in a concert, it's so much better. It just, it, it's so much more adrenaline, so much more passion, so much more... Well, yeah, energy. whenever you hear that line. Yeah, I, 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 I see what you're saying. I mean, uh, 
But I like I like this version too. Oh, you know, what? I'm not saying it's a bad version. It's just I'm just saying that this is one of those songs that I'd rather listen to live than an album. You want to hear something kind of funny? Yeah. Uh, so a couple years ago, I was just I kind of had this song stuck in my head, so I was singing it like as I went around the house, and my mom came up to me and she was like, "Cass, stop singing that song." And I was like, "Why?" And she's like. It's it's so it's about domestic abuse and I'm like no it's not so we had this like long conversation about whether what? it was about domestic abuse or not who won my I guess wife you did. said that both of us both you're of us have to, you're gonna have to show my, her my wife Mark. said that Mark Mark <laughs> answer both of us won we were talking about the Smiths so yeah it's true that is true you both won because you're talking about the Smiths. I like it. Yeah, but this song's not about domestic abuse, at least. I think Sorry. What? I think partially, yeah. It no, this be. isn't like that song. Yeah. When I was drunk, I didn't no, mean look. to call you that. You know the song I'm talking about? Yeah, but it is. As the flame throws to a Roman nose, <laughs> and her hearing aid started to melt. He's just saying I got a big mouth. Oh, bludgeoned in your bed? Yeah, actually. Oh my gosh. The burning bed. I'm sorry. I better... You know the 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 one the one. He uh, just said these TV things. Movie. No, but yeah, okay. Sweetness, you know sweetness, what? Actually, I was I only joking uh, when what? I said I'd like to smash every tooth in your head. <laughs> oh my gosh, what am I thinking? But the like, first line is like, <laughs> oh my god, I don't know. Oh yeah, like, you're right. Oh yeah, that, that's At least you're that's right. I'm you sorry. Say, that's something I you apologize. say when you know you've messed up. Like I was only joking. Yeah. But he only said it. He didn't actually do it. Whoa. Yeah. I mean, not that that excuses yeah, but, it, but... But, I mean, that's those are pretty violent words. Okay. But, yeah, big mouth. Yeah, he's got a big mouth. But, yeah, if that big mouth was... Just, I would leave this guy. No wonder he could never have a relationship last. That's why it took 20 years, 7 months, and 27 days. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Um, that's interesting. I've never seen it that way. Domestic, yeah. I, I've never seen it as domestic abuse. I've always seen it as, as more of a. Well, not domestic abuse, but more like. Well, those are abusive getting, words. I'm though. really tired of you. Get away from me. And if the only way I can get away from you is burning your house down, then I would. Burning your house down? Why? Because Joan of Arc. Well, yeah, Joan of Arc was burnt to the stake. Well, I know. And then they burnt her house down. And then they went back to her house and burnt it down. Kind of like, uh, I guess. Well, that is that actually the the kind of that doesn't relate to, you know. Now I know how Joan of Arc felt. Yeah, no, it does like, though, because uh, like when when you said something that you feel guilty about, it feels like you're kind of like burning up inside. You know. Uh wait. Um, well, yeah, but Joan of Arc was able to die knowing that. She, she had talked to well, God and, okay, so, you know, or whatever, the, had that but revelate, Joan of Arc, you know. So she was able to die, like, with her head held high. Maybe that's what he's saying. But, <gasps> oh, but again, going back she, to domestic abuse. Maybe maybe that is. No, Kaz, listen, listen. No, I'm talking. Kaz, 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 Kaz all right, listen, man. All right, all right. I, I got it. <laughs> I got it. Okay, so, you know, because Joan of Arc was burnt at the stake for heresy, right? Mm-hmm. But... She was abused the entire time she was incarcerated. And so when she finally got free, you know, it was like you were saying, she she held her head up high when she died. At least in the movie. And so with domestic mm -hmm. abuse, somebody's getting abused left and left left and right, left and right. And then when they finally when they finally get through that point where they you know, they burn you know, they burn this person's uh uh let's see, the Hear, the hearing aid starts to melt. The Walkman started to melt. When she's burning all of you know whatever's going on, she's finally free and she can you know hold her head up high. That that uh, you're really reading into this, man. I might be. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, at the end of the day, it's too Joan hot here really in Arizona. Hearing aid or a Walkman. Yes. Yeah, so it's a funny line. But Sorry, I'll stop talking. No, that was good. No, that was bad. No, that was good. We like, epic it. Fails we like it when you by Steve. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, this guy's like epic I'm fails. Just joking. I'm not trying to. <laughs> <laughs> can, we get, can we 
actually get on failarmy.com. <laughs> Epic fail. Epic fail. <laughs> <laughs> This guy stamps over him. <laughs> this guy tried to relate this mist to history. <laughs> he tried Fair. to take it too far. <laughs> when one man tries to take an analogy too now far. Now I'm going to get another index card telling me I'm That's out. right. He's like, yeah. Steve, you're wrong. I uh, will take all comments. All right. Well, um, so this is it for, for this episode. I mean, unless you guys have something else. Sarah, you have something else, right? Uh, not really. <laughs> Talk about your album, like what, what, uh, yeah, what we, what, let's what, hear about this. Just, just uh, real quick, you're going to be playing anywhere? Yeah, we're playing a house show on the 25th of June, and then we're playing with Green Day, like, Billy Joe Armstrong of Green Day's son's band at Rebel Lounge. <laughs> So that's when kind of that? exciting. That's uh, on the 25th? July 8th. And is there a July website 8th. that they can, uh, uh, yeah, we have a band camp. It's just sunland.bandcamp. You can download this uh, with two if you want to. Yeah, right. It has two A's. Oh, two A's. Oh, that's the... But it's not sunland. <laughs> we get that all the time. It's really annoying. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's just two A's, man. Okay, well, so it's punk. Yeah. Kind of uh, poppy punk or is it hardcore? It's poppy punk, but it's not pop punk. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> It's not like Blink-182 or something? Yeah, it, it, it's skate punk. Yeah. Skate? Okay, so it's the good stuff, not the cheesy it's, yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's not the worst. Yeah, it's not, it's not pizza punk, Where as I it? like to call it. Pizza punk. All right, well, let's end with our own punk song, uh, Big Mouth Tricks again. <laughs> all right. Uh, Poppy punk. Mark. Uh, oh, uh, thanks for joining you. the handsome home. We didn't even introduce that ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, th by the way, this was the Handsome Hooligans. Uh, you know, I think I've been out of this hooli thing. The Handsome Hooligans. Uh, <laughs> uh, like it's just been my arm. The handsome Hooligans feet Sunland. Yeah. All right. I love it. So, uh, I love Mark, you get vocals. Sarah, uh, uh, drums. I'll get bass, and you get guitar. For uh, what? Oh, I got. Okay, I got a lip sync. Yeah. Why am I vocal? Well, yeah. Why do you sing so well? Vocalists yeah. Be vocalists. No, I don't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're not even going to be doing anything. We don't. Uh, we're we're going to be lip sync. Let's all lip sync. Okay, I'm going to start it at two minutes, and we're going to do the live. Remember that show, putting on the hits. Put 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 putting on the hits, where they would yeah. lip sync. Yeah, I remember that. Lip -sync all right, right. well, uh, let's do it then. So, big what round. are we doing? Just yeah, we'll just end with this. All right. Well, thanks for joining us. Yes. Next time, we'll be back with the. The other half of, of uh, the Queen is dead. The Queen is dead, and we'll probably be able to get through all of them in one session. Because yeah. and if Sarah allows, we'll put the next few Sunland gigs up on the site. And, and yeah, okay. be sure to check her, check it out, check her out. <laughs> Mark, Mark. What are you <laughs> or I meant the band. <laughs> I know it sounded wrong whenever. Be sure to check her out. Oh, hey, no. how, no, how about the epic fail? <laughs> epic fail. <laughs> all right, Put well, that now, stamp right across my face. All right, well, we better do it again. All right, <laughs> take four. Be sure to check her out. <laughs> no, Mark. No. <laughs> <laughs> <Just joking. laughs> right, epic fail. Oh, girl. All right, let's wrap this up. All right, let's, let's get out of here. Play the track. Yeah, so okay. let's go. We're going to start in two minutes, guys. All right. Come on, Mark. Oh. Bring it on! I love when he does it. He's like, that's one thing I don't like about Morrissey Live, is he's like all doing these screams. <laughs> all right. We will see you next time. All right. Bye, guys. Bear, cheers. Oh, wait. I'm out again. Okay. We need.